Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, we will clearly understand the differences between proof of concept, prototype and MVP, minimum viable product. There is a lot of confusion which is revolving around the POC and prototype terms. I have also included MVP into it to bring a clearer understanding as well as knowledge on these three topics. Well, we will explore. This is a burning question. Which one am I building? Am I building a POC or a prototype or a minimum viable product? I'm going to a hackathon, which one do I build? I'm going to an investor meet, which one do I build? I need to really understand what I'm building before I go ahead and present it to the intended audience or recipients. So we are going to find the answer for this. The first one in the list is the proof of concept. Here is where we can understand and decide if it is feasible to pursue development of the new idea that you have in mind. I have one big idea. Is it meaningful to go ahead and pursue that further? The POC will help you in clearly understanding is the idea practical. You can understand the idea's potential pretty much when you build a POC. You will also get the convincing viewpoints from the stakeholders to secure investments. Well, you need investments for your product to go further a long way in the market. So you need to get it really convincing within your team, within the stakeholders. Yeah, this is going to work. This kind of, yeah, this is going to work answer will come. This kind of view will come when you build a POC. It will tell you if it is practical or not. It will also enable you to understand the risks, early risks, if any, you can identify and you can go ahead further. So in one word, if I have to tell you, is this viable or not? Is this feasible or not? Is this working out or not? Will be the one that you will find out at the end of building the POC. Do we need POC for all the products? No is the answer. POC is specifically intended for new ideas that were never tested in the market. You are having something pretty new. For example, you are working on a rechargeable electric flying bike. You need a POC there. If you are working on a simple app, probably it doesn't require a POC. So if you are doing something pretty new, which had never been in the market till now, so it's better to go with POC to see that if it is going to work out, to see that is it really needed, is it really practical? So it gets you a confidence of, yes, I am doing something practical. Well, there are more points that you need to understand. How, how long does it take to build POC? Ideally, it is from few days to months. Sometimes it goes to years when you go on rocket science kind of products. But again, that's not the one that most of us build. So it depends on the complexity. Mostly it stays with days and it will end up within few months. POC is not the simplified version of your product. Remember it. It shows that your idea is implementable. That's the only point that I'd like to reiterate. POC is all about implementation feasibility. You are going to build something which you have in your mind as a big idea. Is it doable or not? POCs cover the technical aspects. POC will not reflect a perfect finished product. You cannot sell it on the market right away. So POC is all about technical aspects of it. Most of the time when you build a POC, the code quality or the guidelines for the security or the UI beautification part, all those will be ignored because what we think about is, is it okay or not? We are not thinking about how do we beautify it? How do we the, give it to the customer? How does the customer feel? All these kind of things will not come in into picture when you are building the POC. Well, the next step is the prototype. A prototype is the next stage as I told you. If your POC is successful, if you feel that, yes, my idea is really cool, it's working, it, it gave me confidence to go ahead further, the next level that you move on is to the prototype. It is a draft version focusing more on the UX, UI and the semantics. So prototype means in primitive form. So why do we build a prototype? Very simple, to get early feedback of the product. And you are going to uncover the design development errors. It will also present the users with a better view on the product and its workflow. I can understand the complete workflow now when I see the prototype. It can be reused also and you can attract the seed funding and investments when you have a prototype in the hand. You are having the prototype, well, you are eligible to try for fund. You can go ahead and attract seed funding, so prototype is needed. So it's a draft version, it's more focused towards the UX, UA and the semantics. Remember, it's in the primitive form, that's the best way I can tell you that. How the journey goes from the POC to the prototype? I have a big idea. I'm building the proof of concept, the POC. I now understand if it is technically viable and feasible or not. If it is feasible, yeah, I go ahead and build the prototype. If it is not feasible, I need to revamp and I need to get another big idea. I need to work more on the polishing the previous big idea that I had in hand. So this is the flow that you normally get, the big idea to the proof of concept, to the technical feasibility understanding. If yes, go build the prototype. Well, the next one is minimum viable product. This is the next level. It should have the sufficient features that you can present to the hands of the customers. 
it is not like the POC or the prototype this is bigger this has to be bigger this has to be better it has to have the good set of features that can definitely get the customers attracted it should present what the customer needs it should satisfy the needs of the customer in a better way so this will enable us to understand how the customers react to the product I have given product to the hands of the customers how do they react it so here is where you will understand will the customers pay money for your product should I buy is the question that the customer always have in the mind so you will understand if the customers will buy your product or not using this MVP MVP is minimum viable product I've given a clear table here which tells you few which answers you few questions literally why do we go with POC simple to understand is my idea feasible why do we go with prototyping how will my product look like is what I need to understand MVP will the product be viable will it be sold who are all the target audiences for POC it is not for audience ideally the POC is meant for internal understandings prototyping the stakeholders will be the audience MVP you can sell it you can present it to the potential buyers and customers pre-selected group of potential buyers can be given with the MVP a risk evaluation we are working on the POC which will definitely reduce the technical risks during the development and it will make you understand am I doing the right thing prototyping will reduce the risk of user dissatisfaction of the product workflow when you prototype you will be able to understand is the workflow right MVP reduces the risks of losing more time and resources on the development this is the most important aspect the core purpose of POC it is to identify the technical feasibility prototyping to visualize the product and show it to the stakeholders and the MVP is to provide a short form a draft form a functional version of the product that can be launched onto the market do we get revenue on POC no revenue is not the target here prototyping no we don't get revenue there instead we can get investments MVP yeah we could bring in some revenue from the pre-selected set of buyers I, uh, we have identified so that's a very important point see the way things go here first would be POC when you have a big idea go with POC then you will go with prototype and then you will build MVP and finally by adding more features to it after getting the feedback from the end users stakeholders everybody the product goes on to the market it ideally starts with the days and it ends with the years so it is a process it is a process you need to have time so POC prototype MVP product I hope the session was useful in case you have any questions please go ahead and type it in the comment section I'll be very happy to answer if you like the channel and the content kindly subscribe thank you